Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Bravely Default 2. Last time we left off, we were here in Savalon hanging out. We got Prince Aster with us now. And no, I did not mispronounce his name. That's his name, Astor. So, Land Ahoy, the Summary Island. Yeah, so we did this this time. The game was actually asleep. All right, so we'll just ignore all of that and focus on the story for now. Someone, please, you must help. What's the matter, sir? The, the, the one-eyed creature, it, it attacked us. A penis? A one-eyed creature? Yes, I escaped and came to seek help, but, but my friend is still in danger. It's probably just a Cyclops. Please, you must help him. We would be glad to. Would we not? Yeah, of course. You would? Just leave it to us. You go tell the city guard about what happened, okay? Very well. And thank you. Yeah, we'll go take this giant penis it out for you. As if we need to hurry. Alright, uh... The one-eyed creature had attacked us in the desert. Defeat the one-eyed creature. We get some peeg for it. Is there a way to disable these, like, constantly scrolling across the screen? Like, the little updates? Let's see, autosave, online functionalities on, objective markers, auto advanced dialogue, display controls, remember cursor location... I don't see it. I don't see it, so I guess we're just gonna have to deal with that, scrolling across the screen. Like, I don't particularly care about the updates, they're just a bunch of, you know, no-name stuff. It's like, oh look, we found Blank Island. Okay. Stop exploring. So, yeah, we met some people. We visited a tree and found six small JP orbs. Thank you. That's nice. Uh, we met Roga's chosen hero, Roger. 100 peeg. Wow, that's like nothing. Okay, so yeah, this isn't too bad. And that was 12 hours, so. There you go, set sail. Um, I will be using those JP orbs, though. Right about now. The faster we max out, um, uh, Freelancer, the better everything will be anyway. Um, no. Small JP orb. You are what I want. So, uh, Adele is a level 9. I think we're gonna give most of these to Elvis. Just so we can catch Elvis back up with everyone else. Although he does already have a lot of points on Black Mage, so I guess if I do this, he'll just have more JP than everyone else. Because uh, everybody else has been cheering, ch chilling, cheering, chilling on Freelancer this entire time, but eh, let's just... I would like to catch Elvis up on Freelancer so I can make him back into a Black Mage soon. So... Alright, now what? Um... We need to go to Savalon, but we also have this little side quest that we followed up on. Which I guess is out here. And I suppose we should do this while we have Prince Aster with us. Um, and yes, I am going to call him that for the rest of the game, as long as I remember. <clears throat> as far as I'm concerned, his name is just Prince Aster. Okay, so... What is this right here? What is, what is this quest? What's the, like, orange slash red color one? Defeat some goblin archers. Okay. Got a nice little consecutive, uh, continuous battle, consecutive battle. We've got the upper hand, guys. We do have the upper hand. Okay, that is a goblin archer. Cool, big murder. My, my cats have decided that now is the time where they will all be stupid. Uh, let's not do four, actually, because we can save some of your BP, right? Let's just do two. There we go. Oh, you don't do shit for damage. What is that weapon you have, though? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna want you to go ahead and cross-cut these fools. And boom, boom. And boom, boom. Dead. Cross-cut is so good. I'm amazing. Crosscut is so good. 
Thank you for that JP bonus. I appreciate it. Alright, that was two goblin archers slain. We'll grab some more in a quick second. What's what's this over here? I'm guessing you're the Oh, it's an Ariman. Okay. On a Cyclops. Get yourself to safety. We'll deal with the monster. Th thank you. He's like, hey, wait, where are you going? This must be the one-eyed creature that man was referring to. Well, its reign of terror is about to come to an end. Does a generic Let's monster deserve this music? Oh, it has friends. Lower magic defense, eh? Uh... Okay, so you got some evil eyes back there. <clears throat> okay, so you're still not that bad. Okay, Doom is not what I wanted to see, though. Um, let's see, what are, what are you guys weak to? Bows. We don't happen to have a bow item, do we? No, uh, we got throwing knives, though. Let's do that, and then just pop all of you. There we go. Okay, that was not as effective as I had hoped. Uh, what else are you guys weak to? I believe that is light. Um, which we do not have access to. Yep. Um... Sure. Let's just do that a few times. How much damage will that do? Not a lot. Almost finished them off. Okay, well you can just cross cut them all, right? And that should finish it? Them casting Doom on me is just kind of scary. Alright, Seth, you can finish it off. Just cross cut them to death. There we go. I cannot be defeated. Someone's getting stronger. Hard work is always and rewarded. Elvis learned purge. We still need to get access to um, JP up for you. That would be just dandy. My father once told me that he too was attacked by an Araman while visiting these parts. King Orion himself came to his aid. That was the beginning of the close bond between our two kingdoms. Savalon was suffering from a severe drought at the time. My father offered to return the favor by trying to help solve the water shortage. And that was how the idea for a new network of waterways beneath the city was born. No way. The people of Savalon have always thought the Araman to be a harbinger of calamity. But that fortune smiles on whoever can defeat one. I guess things are looking up for us then. Yeah, we've defeated a hell of a lot of those things. I certainly hope so. Now, let's get back to the city and make sure everyone got home safely. Cool. So, now I gotta go murder myself another goblin archer. I do really, really, really enjoy how... Uh, no, you guys come back here. I do really, really enjoy how, um... We get, like story from doing side quests like in that other side quest we got a little bit of story about elvis and his master lady emma and in this quest we get a little bit of a story about how savalon and musa became friends because the king here saved uh gloria's dad which is neat that's that's really cool that's that's something that not a lot of side quests in games do and i feel like it's something that needs to be done more all right, what are you guys weak to? Bows and spears. Um, I'm gonna throw one of these throwing knives just because it'll make this slightly easier, I think. I mean, obviously relying on these things too much is a bad idea, but for right now, since we don't have a lot of very good AOE attack options, I feel like it's a pretty good plan. Uh, you can go ahead and just hit him with some black magic, I think. We want to kill the most. Let's just use Blizzard. Uh, nope. Blizzard. There we go. If you're vulnerable to water. Oh, you absorb water. Oh, no. I did not realize that. Die, please. 
Thank you. If I get my BP back, I do. I'm Gloria, which is good. Because I'm gonna need it back. Ow. Okay, that was pain. Um, I'm gonna pop an Antarctic Wind on you guys. And then we're gonna cross cut a bunch. What's that buff you guys got? Ooh, physical attack up. We do not want to get hit by that. Oh shit, these stupid assholes absorb water. That's right. Oh, I hate you guys. Okay, thank you, Aster. Um, okay, we can finish you off. Let's do that. And we should might be able to finish the goblin archer off too. Yeah, okay, now it's just you. Which you can't really do much. Tis but a flesh wound. Alright, whatever class you have is fairly useful. Being able to lower defense like that. One must never stop learning. Gloria learned JP up. Fan diddly tastic. That is exactly what we want. Alright, so let's go ahead and equip that on you. Um, Gloria. Uh, do I not have... Okay, yeah. Let's go ahead and put that on too. I mean, there's no reason to not have it on. Yeah, I should honestly just have that on everyone. Uh, yeah, self-healing. Um, self-healing. Yeah, everybody should just have that on. There's no point not having it on. It's just a straight-up benefit, and we don't have anything else to put there right now. We've defeated eight goblin archers. Look at us. God. So fun. I like I I've been so people might find this interesting. I I've, I've been wanting to play Bravely Default so much when I couldn't that I actually started another JRPG in my own time to get my fix when I'm not recording. Uh okay, there we go. In froze a bit. Oh, thank the heavens. We have been so terribly worried. You saved my friend's life. How can we ever repay you? Oh, don't be silly. It was our pleasure. Forgive me, but are you Princess Gloria of Musa? I am, yes. Have we met somewhere before? Yes, Your Highness. About five years ago, you came to watch the soldiers practice their swordplay at the palace. I was among the ranks that day. Sword practice? Oh, yes. It was honor enough to be in your august presence, Your Highness. Little did I know that further honor awaited me. If I recall correctly, you were not content merely to watch and announced that you would participate. We soldiers were rather flustered. What if one of us were to injure a visiting royal? Now see, that's your mistake, because usually royals do get, uh, um, you know, trained in these things. So usually, and they usually have pretty damn good mentors slash trainers. So. But you were not to be deterred, Your Highness. You strode out and immediately challenged the largest, strongest swordsman present and refused to back down. <laughs> I'd like to have seen that. A member of the royal line must be prepared to fight on the front line should circumstances require it. And any army would give its all with one such as you at its head, Your Highness. We will ensure that all know it was by your hand that the Ariman fell. We are forever in your debt. Quest completed. 680 pig. Party chat. What do we got? Gloria's idol. Your dad took his death seriously, huh, Gloria? Sticking around to help build an entire water race, waterway system to say thanks for being rescued from that Ariman was no small thing. He certainly always sought to do right by people. He believed that one should always keep one's promises and that one should never abandon a friend in need. So that's where you get it from. Well, I'd say you learned your lesson pretty well. I'll bet you spend your whole time growing up trying to be just like him, hmm? I did. To be compared with him is... it's nice. Thank you. Speaking of thank yous, your lad here's not wrong. The Savalonians got one heck of a thank you from your old man. Yeah, I guess they wound up with more than their fair share of the good luck from that arm and... 
Speaking of which, we should be we should be doing a good slice of fortune ourselves. Hey, look! What is it, Adele? I found a coin on the floor. Cha Ching! Guess this really is our lucky day. Really, that's all we get? One poxy coin? <laughs> lucky day, my eye. Oh, one coin. Poor us. Alright, so... Uh, do we really have anything we want to sell? I mean, quite frankly, I don't need these two bronze bangles. But I'll keep everything else. Alright, bye. You got anything interesting to get? For anyone here? Hmm... Doesn't really look like it in the weapon department. What about here? Yeah, too heavy for most people. Hmm. Mana robe. Wouldn't it be bad for you? Because <clears throat> you're just wearing a pilgrim's robe right now, Gloria. Hmm. We'll see. Uh, caravan code, doublet. Bum, 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 bum. Crazy that the doublet is considered light armor, <clears throat> but you guys still can't wear it. We'll hold off on for now, and I've gotten everything here, right? Yes. Alright, I think we're good. Oh, wait, I do want to... Mm, I, I do want to buy some things, though. Hey, hey, you. I would like to buy... No, these things. Alright, so we have that stuff done. Let's get a throwing stick. Let's just get one of all of these. For whenever I need them. Uh, throwing knives. Stone. Let's actually buy a few stones, because that's just physical damage altogether. Alright. Because those things seem quite powerful. And we have the spare cash, so why not? Okay. Now, where was that other quest? Oh, hey, here's another one. It's so sad. A real tragedy. Young people today have no interest in books, but I cannot get enough. There is always something new to learn. Sadly, I have read all that I possess. Please bring me a new book. Will do. Alright, so... There's that. Yeah, we can go up there. That's where that one quest turns in. Uh, we should probably take a nappy. Yeah, because Gloria's looking a little beat up. And boy, does, um... What's-his-face have a lot of HP. I think because of that thing I have on him. Yeah, I have, like, a bangle or something on him. What, are, what do you guys actually have equipped? Yeah, you have an iron bangle. You have the leather gloves. You're missing another thing. Ooh, and you can't actually equip it now. Uh, That would be good for you because it increases your magical attack. Star Pendant increases your HP and the Clothes Pendant increases your speed. I'm going to give you the Ice Talisman. And uh, everybody else has two things, right? Could you take off these leather gloves and get something a bit better? Uh, less defense, less magical defense. More HP, which would be nice, and higher restorative power. Yeah, let's go ahead and give you the Star Pendant. Uh, I like that they actually... the Star Pendant actually gives you stats. <laughs> so it's not just poison immunity. Because when it's just, like, poison immunity or something, I always hate putting it on, because I'm like, ah, oh, man, it feels like such a waste. And what is this out here? There's a... quest objective here? Wait, what? What is the other quest objective? Didn't I already do that? Oh, the, oh, that's the that's the book. Okay, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. All right, so let's go over here and check out what we get for murdering goblins. A very generic and very cliche mission. We'll see what we get. And I remember the last time I commented, the character was just like, "I hate goblins," and it was like, "Murder goblins." You did it, you got rid of those infernal goblin archers. Truly, I hit the bullseye when I asked you for your help, friend. Perhaps I can call on your aid again in the future? You need an iron bow for that. Okay. Well, don't we already have an iron bow? 
on you. We do. We do. Unfortunately, we already got one of those. Alright. Um, what now? So we gotta go find this book. Let's go get the book. Book. Alright, so there was apparently a book outside somewhere. I'm not exactly sure where we're gonna get a book from outside. Watch it be like we gotta kill some monsters or something to get it. Watch it be exactly that. Let's go see what you got. Monster treats are your friend. Consecutive battles will earn you sizable JP bonuses. So try to earn a few treats about the place if you're looking to level up your jobs quickly. That is an interesting system. It definitely helps with the grinding. Wait, what? Wait, does this want us to go to a different town? Borrow a book from the boy who likes reading. Yeah, it wants us to go to Halcyonia. Okay, whoopsie doopsie. Okay, I get it, I get it. So we just need to take the caravan. <clears throat> I thought it was just simply outside. But no, it is more than that. So let's go back to Halcyonia. I wonder if there will even be more side quests over here now. Exploration allows you to earn your rewards while your system is in sleep mode. Seek out the boat landing lady to set sail. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, travelogue, memories. I think I've watched all the events. I don't think we've missed one yet. Alright, so no new quests here, it doesn't seem like. Oh, so the old boy in Savalon has you running errands for him, does he? Let me guess, he was going on about young people not reading, right? Well, the thing about him is that he might read a lot, but he never remembers a single word. I've lent him books he's read before, and he'll swear blind just the first time he's seen them. Still, he loves to read regardless, and as long as he's happy, I don't think it's a problem. Alright, something new, is it? Here. This one will probably do, even if I have lent it to him before, he won't remember. Man, sounds like me. My memory is absolute shit, and it worries me sometimes. I'm like, am I dying? Because my memory's bad. <laughs> I might be dying because my memory's bad. Uh, yep, nothing else hiding in here. Alright. Let's just go about our merry way. Just a quick little fetch quest. Going back over here, and now we go back to Savalog. The little clip-clop of the horse. The speed at which your next turn comes around will depend on the action performed previously. Bear this in mind when uh, teeing up powerful abilities. That's interesting. Makes sense, too. Select battle info at any time while fighting, see and fill information about your enemy. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Alright, so now we go turn this quest in, and then I guess then, because I don't see any more side quests hanging about, we can actually go into the gambling hall. Oh, ho so this is the fabulous new tome you sent me. Well, it may be somewhat slim, but my eyes know quality when they see it. Yes, just holding it in my hands, I can sense that the most proun profound truths about life will be revealed within its pages. Alas, being an empty-handed youngster, I fear its sequels will be beyond you, friend. Or empty-headed youngster, I think is what he said. But whatever your limitations, you succeeded heroically in doing as I asked. Perhaps when I have finished it, I will try to explain its contents to you in simple terms. You cannot wait, yes? Ho ho ho. Shut up, old man. Alright, so we got some more glasses from that. I could put two things of glasses on you. Double up. Just ha just wear two sets of glasses. That's not stupid at all. But no, we're not doing that. We're gonna keep the Thunder Talisman on you. Alright, let's go in here and see what we got. Make the most magnifying glasses. Yup, already doing that. Everybody knows you got a Libra everything you see. Slash tattle. Whoa. I never expected to see a fountain like that in the middle of the desert. Me neither. Talk about decadent. Not that I mind a little luxury, but you can have too much of a good thing. Boft! There's been no expense in deck in this place here, that's for sure. Prince Caster! To what do we owe this inestimable pleasure? Well, might I ask what brings you here, your highness? 
I saw that. Your lips didn't even move. What are you, a ventriloquist? Princess Gloria was taking a tour of the city. I thought it would be rude not to offer to accompany her. Ah, the life of a prince is a hard one, is it not? But I am forgetting myself. Allow me to introduce Annie Hale. The rustic charms of her performing menagerie have been entertaining our clientele of late. You will have to forgive her abysmal manners. I found her wandering the wilds, and it seems her upbringing was far from civilized. Does she have an asterisk? Maybe a Beastmaster? <laughs> or like Hunter? But tell me, Princess Gloria, how goes the search for the water crystal? We haven't found it yet, but we will. You can be sure of that. <laughs> oh, I do admire your optimism, but I can't help feeling that you'll never find it, no matter how hard you search. What would it take to convince you that it was not in Savalon, I wonder? An official edict to that effect from the prince, perhaps? You seem awfully interested in us just abandoning our investigation here. I doubt it. Not that I don't trust his highness, of course, but I would prefer to confirm it for myself. After all... Thieves have a habit of hiding things rather well, don't you find? <laughs> well then, far be it from me to hinder you in your search. But please, do take care. Now, if you'll excuse me. Later, asshole. Well, no offense to our new friend, but I can't help thinking he's got something to hide. Bernard's story is certainly impressive. He built the gaming hall and earned himself a place on the Council of Elders. And all in the space of a few years. There were... Certain rumors, of course. But what newly made man is not dogged by the chatterings of the jealous? All the more reason to suspect him, says I. There's no smoke without fire. Maybe that minstrel can tell us something. Orpheus, was it? Couldn't hurt to ask. Is there anything you can tell us about him first, Gloria? Well, if I were being kind, I might describe him as committed to his craft. If I were feeling less generous, I'd say he was a raving egomaniac. That one sounds more... apt. <laughs> Remind me not to get on your bad side. But that's good to know. We might be able to use it to our advantage. Let's track him down and see, shall we? Time to catch us a bard. The proprietor of the gaming hall was kind enough to lend me some money to keep playing. He said he did not like to see Patris going home having lost. What a fine, charitable gentleman. I shall try be trying doubly hard to win now. No, he's taking advantage of you to make you addicted. High stakes gambling, spectacular stage shows, and some of the best food and drink I've ever tasted. This place is heaven itself, eh? <laughs> Thank goodness I decided to become a traveling merchant, or I'd never have had the chance to sample it all. Alright, uh, can't talk to either of those people. Hi. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised by the variety of drinks available here in the desert. You must try the local specialty. It is made with the bindi yellow fruits of a certain tree. Banana? Hehe, <laughs> may not sound very appetizing, but I assure you it has a taste that is simply unique. Why not try a glass? Many of the continent's major trade routes cross the Savalonian Desert. Our city has been a meeting place for merchants since ancient times. Money and the knowledge they bring with them is the very lifeblood of our kingdom. Got a little silk road going on here, do we? Alright, so... What's over here? There's a staircase going up. It does say there's a treasure chest in here somewhere. It's over there. Uh-oh. Money I was supposed to spend on stock is all gone. This is a disaster. I have to win it back. Quick smart. No, that's not what you do. You don't say, oh no, I lost money. Let me win it back. That's how they get you. You keep telling yourself that you're going to win this time. This time will be it, and then you'll be rich, and then you're out of money, and you're crying. And plus, why do you need to do that when there's just free money sitting in a treasure chest right across the way? Hello. Hey, jerk. Wow, not even gonna talk to us, huh? Alright, later. Guess we'll go over this way. Oh, I can't go that way. Alright, so... It looks like we've examined everything in here, and it looks like... 
this is actually all we have to do in here. So we just gotta leave now. We gotta go find Orpheus. Alright, so... Where? There is a new side quest over there that I want to go take care of. Also looks like Orpheus is by, like, the main gate, weirdly enough. So it's nice that, um, this, like, little panoramic view will show me where side quests are on the map as well. How useful. Oh dear, oh dear, what am I to do? That man of mine has gone off without his lunch. Ooh, a large GP orb. Packed lunch. Where is he at, though? Uh, apparently outside the city. So, cool. I was heading outside anyway, and Orpheus is right here? It's him. Orpheus, where are you going? Whoa, why are you trying to pin me down? I'm a seeker, man, a poet. I go where the muse takes me. Wherever the wind blows, whenever the spirit moves me, that's my destination, baby. Uh-huh. So, where are you going? Oh, I'm wasted on you, you know that. Anyway, I don't have to tell you anything. Ugh, you're impossible. Fine. I'm off to the sand-swept ruins to bring a certain very special story to an end. Go on, go running off to Bernard and tell him like I know you will. Okay. Jeez, I know better than anybody that a true artist needs dedicated fans, but why does Bernard keep the kid around? Loyalty is good and everything, but that kind of puppy dog stuff could really cramp a guy's style. Hmm? Well, look who it is. Ahem. <clears throat> oh, she's the tragic princess of a long lost land. And she cries a river while she stomps the sand. Will her crystal questing ever reach an end? Or will she die for duty here without a friend? Ooh, yeah. You gotta love the sad ones. That's a classic in the making and no mistake. A dandelion slash yaskier you are not, friend. Hey, Princess Gloria, I didn't see you there. Listen, I've got a dash, but I'd love to talk to you sometime about what it feels like to lose an entire kingdom. It'd make one heck of a song. He knew we were here. He certainly did. And judging by his song, he knows something about the crystals, too. Do you not get a feeling he's leading us a little by the nose? So what if he is? No harm in playing along, right? Then, when we get the chance, we turn the tables and squeeze him for everything he knows. Prince Custer, do you know the place he mentioned? Yes. The ruins are to the south of the city. I will lead the way. Can we have at least, like, a little ambiguity about whether some of these people that have asterisks are evil or not? They all just come on the screen and I'm like, wow, look at this evil person, and they speak and I'm like, wow, look at this evil person. No ambiguity, though. Not feeling- not feeling sorry for any of these assholes. Oh wow, the side quest we gotta do is over here as well. Hey, what's up? Stab you in the butt. Cause why not? Let's put the boo in! Let's put the boo in! Hey. You rang? You guys ready to die? Killer ant, what were you weak to? Daggers. Makes sense. You have like a exoskeleton. You probably gotta slip the dagger in between one of the little folds in the armor. Or chitin armor. And dead. It looks like he's using like a pickaxe. Which is incredibly weird to me. Alright. So, windswept ruins, eh? What you got for me? Just how windswept are you? A great city once stood here. Before these lands fell to the sand. 
War and deforestation laid waste to what was once green and pleasant. So the desert came to be. Our ancestors were foolish indeed. So that's how the desert came here. It wasn't just a natural thing. You guys deforested the hell out of it and caused war. These sun-scorched sands are no place to make a life. If only there were water in abundance. How many times I've dreamed of it. Prince Custa. Forgive me. This is neither the time nor the place. We must focus on the task at hand. Finding Orpheus. Music here is very good, and also, Gloria, I'm disappointed you didn't call him by his real name. The Prince's Play. The Sunset Ruins must be pretty old. They look like they've been out here falling to pieces for a long, long time. They are ancient indeed. One can almost feel the weight of history bearing down upon them. Spectacular performances were once held here beneath the glow of the setting sun. Yes, I once read that the tragedies in particular were renowned for their power. I commend you, as always, on the breadth of your knowledge, Princess Gloria. You really do know a heck of a lot. Oh, not really. I've always been a rather a voracious consumer of books, that's all. Sadly, I know no more of theater than I learned in the library back in Musa. I'm ashamed to say that I have never actually seen a play. Is that so, your highness? Well then. I shall have to arrange for a local troupe to perform for you at the palace. Thank you, Prince Aster. I should like that very much. But only once all the crystals have been restored to their rightful place, of course. Of course. The crystals continue to be our main priority. Forgive me for diverting your attention from the matter at hand. Aw, no romantic play-watching evening for you, Princey Pants. R romantic I, I had no such thing in mind, Your Highness, believe me. Why don't you spat at her for being a commoner? She's a commoner, too. Alright, so we got no map for this place, which is why I just walked right out of the place. Because I was like, is this an area I've never explored before? And I just walked right out. It does suck that the dungeons don't have a map. It is, it is, it is unfortunate. It is unfortunate. And, I, I mean, they have a mini-map in the game, because we see it on the world map. So it's like... Or at least let me look at like a panoramic view of the place. That would help me with finding out stuff as well. Bye. It's a palette swap of a rock. What sort of bird are you? Oh no, it's bombs. Oh, you take half damage from daggers. That's no good. A diatrimia. So, let's examine you, let's examine the restless souls, and then let's just attack. Yeah! Okay, so you're weak to that, and you're weak to wind. You're also undead. Hello. Uh, enemies. Boom. Boom. And then... Boom. And boom. Yeah, you like that? You like that light magic damage? Okay, just cross-cut those, if you would so kindly, Seth. <clears throat> there we go. Well, I wish you hadn't missed so many, but, uh... You guys were weak to... Yeah, a bunch of stuff that I don't have access to, so... Let's just hit him with this. Eat sorcery! There we go. That'll do nicely. Uh, balsam and beast flesh. What is that? I mean, I know what beast flesh is, but I'd like to know what it does. Watch out, guys. Okay, we got some more of you guys. Yeah, you guys are just a bit stronger than I would like. Just a bit annoying how strong you guys are. Um, oh yeah, somebody needs to examine you. The Terra element. You are weak to stabs. Since... Um, yep, this should finish you off. 
Yeah, you're dead. Everyone okay? Everyone is indeed I. Still rolling with four freelancers. I mean, they're basically the onion knights of this game, so they're not really bad, per se. You just significantly limit yourself and your ability to murder things by playing as the freelancers this long, but... Like I said, man, I want JP up. I want JP up. If I ever feel like the game's getting too easy or something, I'll probably... I, can you bump it up to... I think you can bump the difficulty up to hard. Huh. What's the plan? Maybe we should try that. I don't know. It might be worth it. But we'll, we'll see. If I just always feel like I'm having way too easy of a time, we'll consider it. Whoa, you stole my MP? What a jerk. Wait, do you just take half damage from all melee weapons? You must. Alright, well. Eat cure, nerd. Let me help you. Wonderful. I'm just wary about putting it on hard because, like, on hard, some of the super bosses may be actually ridiculous, but... And also, I don't want to have to grind. That's the main thing. I'm scared hard would make it so I have to grind to win some fights, which I don't want to have to do. I would prefer to not have to grind, so I'm kind of hoping the difficulty is balanced around not having to grind. And, you know... I don't feel like I fight an enormous amount of enemies, per se. So... Damn! They blindsided us! Ow. Allow me. Okay, so, yep, you guys are weak to bow. Go eat bow. Okay, that's fine. Ow! Carrion Carnivore? You just get an attack up? Yep. You just got an attack up from that. But Adele should be able to finish you off. Yeah. And then you should be able to finish off the Terra element, right? Looks like it. God, it's taking so long to get the uh, final levels, but I want that increased JP, man. All right, I feel like I've covered most stuff here, but once again, it's kind of hard to tell where I have been and haven't been. Let's do this. Without a map. What the hell are you? Oh, that is a sandworm. That sounds not good. That sounds very not good. Eek. Sandworms are usually pretty strong. Yep. And now we're blind. Um, Murder everything, please. Fortunately, we're probably going to miss a lot now. Yep, because of that blindness. Alright, what are you guys weak to? Wind and water. Let's just go ahead and hit them with the blizzards. Oh god, I didn't mean to do that. I was... Damn it. I pressed Y. What I was trying to do was... Oh god. Alright. You guys are weak to that stuff. Um... Physical damage? Okay, it missed both of you. Um... What are you weak to? Axes. This might not work out super well, actually. This sandworm is actually kind of spooky. Ow. There we go. Dead zo. And you can just cast Cure on the enemy a bunch. Eat that magic damage. We wait the floor with them. Yeah, that sandworm was uh, a bit annoying to deal with, and yep, our blindness has been cured. Fantastic. Alright, let's just get out of here now. Please leave me alone. Thank you. Yep, leave me alone, jerks. Alright, we went down that way last time, right? So, let's keep going this way. That guy's kind of popping in and out of existence over there. Okay, yeah, and this is... Okay, I'm starting to get my bearings a little bit here. What did I just run into? I didn't even see anything. Okay, I didn't even see anything. Oh, it's you again. I'm starting to wonder if... Yep, uh... Yep, let's go ahead and hit this up. The dart. And then you can use crosscut 
on the sandworm a bunch. Enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> Big damage. Uh, and Seth. Okay, that thing's almost dead. You don't need to use crosscut. We can just bop him. There we go. Too easy. <laughs> Those things are scary, man. Don't like them. By the way, what are the new skills we're going to be getting? Because uh, it goes up to 12, does it not? Uh, no. Jobs. Yeah, it goes up to 12. So what was square one and body slam? Remove various status effects. Okay. And body slam is very good for you. Based on the user's encumbrance and delay their turn. So that's just fantastic. Ugh. Man, it's going to be quite a while before we hit 12, though. Maybe we should stop now on the freelancers and start working on some other things because it'll be easier to get that JP up and up once we start fighting some monsters that give us more JP. But I feel like we're just hitting a big wall right now. And I feel like it would just be more effective to just start going to this. I, I think I'll get everybody to 10 and then maybe switch off of Freelancer. Um, but basically, once people hit level 10, I'll switch them to a different class. Because, uh, yeah, that stuff's getting a little bit ridiculous. Just the amount we need for each one. We've got the upper like, hand, I really guys. want JP to open up, believe me, but... Uh, it's just going to be kind of annoying to get. So, and I want to I want to investigate some of the other classes. For sure. Even if just to mix things up. Ow. Um No, let's not do that. Let's cast Um I think it's the I think it's three cures will kill you. Because I don't actually want to heal one of the enemies. There we go. Um, boom, boom, boom. That was not enough to kill. Ow. 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 Okay. There we go. Just bow them to death. We're looking very unhealthy. Right about now. Not good. Oh well. Yeah, I think once I hit 10, I'll probably switch over. Maybe. Um, I'll probably keep Seth on it, though, because I do want Seth to have um, that one skill where he does more damage the more encumbered he is. So I'll probably keep Seth on Freelancer, but others, I'll we'll start switching them around. What does Beast Flesh do? Can be used to lure beast monsters into continuous battles. Do we have beast monsters here? I'm not really sure. Um, Gloria, if you could hit us up with some cures, that would be just dandy. There we go. There we are. Okay. And down here leads to... Ooh, this. Oh no, but you're over there. How do I get to you? Oh boy, and then there's stuff over here. Oh man, I'm getting very confused by the layout of this place. Okay. Got here. A glaive. Thank you. Hello. Is that my lunch? Forgive me, friend, you are too kind. This is just perf- Ugh, but wait, my lunchbox only? Where's my flask, I wonder? I hate to be a bother to you, but could I ask you to inquire with my wife as to its location? What? Oh my god. You're the worst. Do your own shit, my man. Five antidotes were obtained. Yeah, I'm just getting very turned around inside this place. Like, it's becoming hard to tell exactly where I am, because it's very maze-like. Hmm. Uh, oh, great. Just... Mm. Okay. You guys are very annoying, you know that? How much for damage will this even do? Not a lot at all. I mean, you can obviously cure them all. 
Just cure them. Fighting four restless souls is kind of a pain. Alright, you know what? You guys are annoying. Eat potion. Yeah. You like that? Um, you know what? You potion too. Whoops. I bought these potions and now they're just being used to kill these things. They're just pretty obnoxious to kill otherwise. And having to fight four of them is quite a struggle. I just can't spam attack at these things. Alright. Okay, that was your level up. It wasn't your freelancer level up. Okay, we're still missing four treasure chests in this hellhole that I have a very, very hard time navigating. Yeah, okay, and we can go down here. Uh, hi! Just gonna avoid you. Okay, you guys are all still fighting me, so maybe I should be fighting you guys because I don't want to get under leveled. So, alright. What, what level are you guys? It doesn't give me your level. It just tells me if I should be fighting you or not. We're at least usually faster than you guys, which is a good indication that we're still pretty well leveled. 18 JP is nothing. Uh, okay, yeah, there is a treasure down here. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Hi? That's a big boy. That is a big boy. And that big boy has something weird on his back. Okay. Interesting. Alright, we've got three of the treasure chests. I'm trying to make sure I'm not missing anything, but... No, go away. I do not want to fight you, assholes. Are we back at the beginning? I think we are. Yep, that's the exit. Okay, so we've looped back around. Really, man? No map? Ugh. Making navigating this a pain, but I think I knew- I think I know where I need to go. It'd be better if there were more, like, landmarks. But there's not really any. It's just kind of like... Stuff's just here. It's like, okay, you're in ruins. Some landmarks would make it a little bit easier to navigate. And honestly, all I need is just the, it to be a little bit easier to navigate. That's all I'm asking for. Alright, let's go up here. Ah, shit, that's the sandworm. Damn it. Maybe I shouldn't have sold those ward lights, huh? Mm, yep, just wail on the sandworm, please. Big damage. Cross cut OP. And bow him. And you murder too. There we go. Alright. Come on. Let's keep going. Um, Alright, I'll stab you in the back, I guess. Like I said, the fights are at least so quick that I don't think it's that big of a deal for me to just show them, so... I don't have to evade them as much as I should, but... As soon as they start running away from me is basically when I'll stop getting in fights. That's when I'll call it quits. But right now, they are not running from me. They actually want to fight me, constantly. So... As long as that's the case, guess what? We're doing it. Oh no, not one of these stupid assholes. Whatever. Kill the Terra element, it's weak to staves. Okay, kill the Diatrima. Alright, and I think you guys should be able to kill this thing. Even though you're doing half damage. Yeah. As long as there's just one Restless Soul, we're good. Okay, and you're about to hit level 10. Which means we're going to swap you over. Can you guys go away? Damn it. They're so obnoxious Let to fight. Oh, God. 
All right, Sandworm's gonna get it. God, you missed so much, Seth. Ow. Oh, Adele has one HP. Um... Well, we're gonna need to cure you. And then probably cure these guys. Still not really enough damage to do anything significant to them. Uh... Blizzard it is! Okay, that wasn't bad. Okay, this might be it here. Nah, you're gonna live a little bit longer. Ow. Disembody? Excuse me? What was disembody and what were you trying to do there? That was a new thing I have never seen before. Wow, 3 XP away. Hey, at least we got another free flame talisman. That's nice. That is very nice. God, we're getting really low on just about everything. Oh boy. Might have to be popping some ethers here in a minute. Uh, yep, there's big boy. What the hell is that thing? My god. Go away, bird. What are you called like a dia diatram? Oh god, there's a lot of you. We should save crosscut. Um, um, oh god. Uh, items. Let's just pop some of these things. The axes, we haven't really ran into many things that are weak to that yet, and let's use those. Enjoy. There. Enjoy. Dead. All right, die, please. Speed this up. All right, now this should be it. You'll, you should die, because Gloria has the highest attack damage of all of us, thanks to that bow. All right, Adele learned square one. Adele learned square one. So let's go ahead and swap Adele's class over now. I want to get JP up and up and up, but we're gonna wait on that. So, I wanna switch you to Monk, I think. I think I wanna switch you to Monk. Set his main job. You are now a Monk. And I like the outfit. So, you can use... No weapons, right? So, equip recommended. It recommends a Glaive, really. Don't you do good damage just with none? That'll lower my physical attack, increase my weight, speed, chance of being targeted, aim. Okay, so you wanna you wanna use the glaive. You're pretty good with glaives. You're also pretty good with stabs, but stabs don't have very good physical attack damage. So I'm gonna stick you with glaives and spears. And you can't use shields. Can I put something in your other hand? Oh, that would make you way overloaded. Okay. Okay, and we could equip you with a caravan coat, but I don't want to lower your defense. And you have leather gloves on. Oh, that's why we have the leather gloves on you, because we couldn't put anything else on. Oh, wait, no, it put the leather gloves on when I auto put everything on. That's right. I like the speed on you, but we can't put the glasses back on yet. So if we want the Thunder Talisman on, we have to leave the gloves on, unfortunately, because they're just our lowest weight thing. This is, uh... You guys see a save point around here? 1180 Peeg. So where does this take me? This takes me back to the beginning, right? Is, is there a way to get back to the start from here, too? Yes. Okay, so now we've just got a shortcut, right? So if I leave and come back, we'll be good? Correct? Because I would like to go back to town. We can follow up on the side quest. I can heal, more importantly. 
And then we can go back in and do the second part of that little quest where the dude needs his canteen because he doesn't know where the hell he put his lunchbox. Alright. And here we go. I'm happy we finally got another thing. Like, it, it would just, like, if I were playing this on my own, I would stick with Freelancer until we got the second JP up and up and up thing, too. But it's just gonna take such a long time. And I want to start doing more interesting things, so... Uh, yeah, we're Monk now. Alright, so... You. What up? This flask? Ah, oh, but of course. Ah, how does this always happen? Here, one flask filled with delicious iced tea. Could you take it to him? Okay, cool. Now, let's go over here. And rest. Oof, we needed that. And now that we've got the ability to just travel deeper in the dungeon on a whim, it'll be a lot easier. But I think we're going to go ahead and end this episode of Bravely Default 2 off here because we are at an hour and two minutes right now. And yeah, we've got a lot done. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode and I will see you next time.